Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakudash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS of Ruel. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is GMS uh, Arkansas, GMS Stop and Listen. Uh, here I have this article right here where it speaks on. This is from uh, politics, I guess, dot com, Rolling Stones. It says the DOJ, Department of Justice, that's what DOJ is, wants to, to suspend certain constitutional rights during coronavirus emergency. So they want to suspend certain rights, man. Okay. Because Esau's plan is to what? Come against. This is coming against basically the men of the Lord. Okay. Okay. And all this, what you're seeing, they want to be able to push the RFID chip and remove us from uh, preaching on the streets, which the Lord is going uh, to allow them to remove us because it's part of prophecy. Okay. He's going to take, he's going to take the wine from the street. Right. And there's going to be a crime for it soon. Okay. Yeah. It says, uh, William Barr, U S attorney general. Okay. It says the Trump department of justice has asked Congress to craft legislation allowing chief judges to indefinitely hold people without trial and suspend other constitutionally protected rights during coronavirus and other agencies, according to a report by the Politico's Betsy Woodruff Swan. Now, why would they want to hold people without trial during coronavirus? Because it was one one uh, article that came out saying, if you refuse to take this coronavirus, the shot, the, uh, the uh, injections, that you could be held, you could be sent to uh, prison. Okay? That was one of the things I saw in the article last week. But they know certain people are not going to take it because they know we as men of the Lord, we know that the scripture, what it says about the RFID chip, <clears throat> because we know that they're going to try to probably administer the RFID chip through, through this, uh, through this, uh, pestilence. Okay. And it's possible. And they know, we know that we're not going to take it. So if we refuse it, we could be just put, put away, you know, without, without going to trial. Uh, what they call it, habeas corpus or some name like that. It says while while the act while the acts from the Department of Justice will likely not come to fruition with a democratically controlled House of Representatives, they demonstrate how much this House White House has a frightening disregard for rights and enumerated in the Constitution. Okay, which it really was suspended back when the Patriot Act came out. They're really going off the Patriot Act too. Okay, that's why they're doing everything they're doing, man. You know, every day they they are uh, going against a right in the Constitution. Man, he saw don't care about that, man. You know, he he put he put it down. Okay, he put the Constitution down, and he don't even go by the, the same Constitution that he laid down in the seventeen hundreds. Why? Because, let's get this scripture. Job 13 and 4, but he is a forger of lies, man. He is a physician of no value. This is Esau, man. Okay. When they, when they wrote that constitution down, it was not for uh, the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans, man. So when they were writing all these different laws and, 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 and amendments, man, those were lies being put down because they didn't want to get everyone that they put down, okay? You can't put no stock in what he say, man. All right. Uh, 
let's get one more. Um, Isaiah. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, man. So destruction coming unto to them that decree an unrighteous decrees. Okay. Now, decrees are statutes, action prescribed, which are laws, okay? Unrighteous, meaning what trouble, wicked. It's wicked for them to try to say, uh, if you don't want to take an injection, we're going to put you in prison and lock you away in an entertainment camp or be able to just put you away without a trial, doing a, doing a, doing a, uh, what they call a, uh, a crisis of a, of a pestilence pandemic. Okay. Even if you think people are sick, why, why are you talking about a trial? You know, it only, you know, like none of this, well, we know what it is, but to the, to the regular people, man, they really think it's really something going on. Yeah, it's something going on. They trying to put you in, in a new world order. Okay. That's what they're trying to do. It says, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and right grievousness, which they have prescribed. So, grievousness, toilsome labor, mischief. See, this is evil. Right? These are evil, basically evil writings, man. That's evil writings, man, right? What they're doing right here. Okay. It says the DOJ has requested Congress allow any chief judge of the district court to pause court proceedings whenever the district court is fully and partially closed by virtue of any natural disaster, civil disobedience, or other emergency situation according to draft languages obtained by Politico, see, among righteous decrees, this would be applicable. Any statutes or rules, right, decrees or procedure otherwise affecting pre-arrest, pre-post-arrest, pre-trial, trial or post-trial procedures in criminal and juvenile proceedings and civil uh, processes and procedure proceedings. They justify this by saying currently judges can pause judicial proceedings in any emergency, but they that new legislation would allow them to apply it in a consistent manner. See, they, they, they trying to shut it down. This is this is like a new world order plan. Okay, this is all this is, man. They trying to they trying to go ahead and push it, right? It's basically draconian, man. Which is draconian goes into very cruel law of relating or characteristics of Draco, or se severe code of laws held to have been framed by him, cruel and severe, and that's what this is: a severe code of laws y'all trying to frame on the people. Right? And it goes into that word Draco. Let me go into that word. Draconian. Uh, let me see. You don't want to come up. You don't want to come up. Let me type it in. There it goes. Let's see what it do. Same thing. Excessive and harsh. Uh, what is meant by what is draconian? The use of draconian for lowercase draconian to describe laws or rules that are really harsh and repressive, okay? Try to put you back in slavery, man. In ancient Athens, Draco was a guy who made some serious strict laws. So rules that are too restrictive or just plain unfair are called draconian. That's what you got, you know. 
it really is unfair to the people. These people could just tell you, you grown ass people, your ass got to be in the house at 10 o'clock and you can't bring your ass out only just to go to work. And they go to the store. Man, that's what they do in prison, man. Them dudes be locked up in them cells, and then they come out in the morning just to go out to the field and work, and then they come back to the cell, and then Esau walk their ass to the commissary once a week to buy their commissary and take them back to the cell. They got you in penitentiary out here in the, in the wide open, man. You in prison. Okay. You in prison, man. And they leading you to the, what, the New World Order. Okay. They leading you to the New World Order. And they trying to issue in. They trying to bring in, through all this, they trying to bring in the uh, RFID chip, man. Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls it all both small and great. Okay. Rich people and poor people alike under this care for you. Okay? They got the richest people running. They got to be in their crib. Right? They didn't came up with some... some uh, 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 they didn't came up with this idea of a pestilence. Something that's so drastic. Your ass got to be in the house. Okay? But think about it. If, if you are sick with this common cold or flu and your ass be pent up in the house, shit, you might as well get out. Because I'm going to tell you, here it's been raining the last three days. The air is fresh. So you, you got to, hey, open your fucking doors. <laughs> it's simple. <laughs> but like, it, it's, hey, everybody who rich and poor, they're locked up in their houses now. You're going to fall under this draconian law that they're trying to push. Uh, rich and poor, free and bond. Free and bond. Okay. They say you're free out here, but the way they're doing they they really putting you in a prison it's a called police state. It's a prison state. Police prison state. You're going to be treated the same way as prisons are treated. Go get in your cell, which is your house. We're going to let you out to go to work in the field, which is the world. So in the Matthew, the field is the world. Then we're going to let your ass go get to get some commissary. We're going to allow you to go get some groceries, and that's it. You know, if you got to go to some real important doctor appointment, you could do that. Just like that they let the prisoners out to go down the hall to talk to their lawyers. It's an important appointment. They'll let them do that. So it's the same situation out here, man. Okay. It says to receive a mark, which is karagma, in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man may buy or sell, save he have the mark, or the number of the beast, or the number of his name. Okay. So you won't be able to buy or sell if you don't have this. Here is wisdom. Let him that have the understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And the one who's going to have wisdom are the elect. Okay. Average every day Joe Smo ain't going to take this chip. And his number is 300, is 600, 3 score is 6, 3 score is 20, 3 score is 60, plus 6 is 666. Okay. Biometric barcodes, man. They about to make you a robot. A prisoner robot, man. A new world order. Okay. They passing these laws now, man. And, and they letting it go. You got to remember, man. Each, each guy that comes up there got his agenda of what he's doing. Okay. Or what he has to do. His orders. Okay. These are part of uh, Thump, John, Donald Thump Lump's orders, man. It's just to spend constitutional rights, man. It's just so they can roll up on us and just put us away. Okay? We just saw the situation where they separated the brother down in Bolivia, Sha uh, Shawal. But the brothers, at, at the word got around, we all sent prayers up. And we cried to the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh heaven. And he heard them prayers, man. The brother's back home now. You know, so they 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 uh, planning on rolling on us, man. So this is all part of them coming against us. When I read this, this is what I get out of it. So I just wanted to bring it out, share that, and share a few scriptures with that. All praise, honor, and glory be to the heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the whole for elect. GMS Arkansas, GMS stop and listen. To the next time, Shalom.